so I just wanted to do my December Q&A answers really quickly for you guys. Uh, so let's just get right on into it. The first question I got was, if you could only keep one of your tattoos and one of your piercings for the rest of your life, what would they be and why? I think I've kind of answered this before, but I don't know if it was like exactly phrased this way, so I'm just going to answer it again if I've already answered it. If I could only keep one tattoo, I would probably keep my back piece just because it is the largest area of my body that's covered with one theme and I do love my back piece very much. It is a Harry Potter themed black and gray back piece and I also really love my tattoo that's in my grandmother's handwriting up here. Very very small but it means a lot to me so it would definitely be one of those two. I'd probably keep my back just because like I said it's like the biggest surface area I have covered with one theme or idea. And if I could only keep one piercing I would probably keep my nostril or my stretched ears. I don't think I would feel like myself if I didn't have at least one of those and those are definitely my two most favorite piercings piercings that I have. So yeah, definitely either my left nostril. I tend to prefer, um, like when I only have one nostril piercing, I tend to prefer it to be on my left side. I don't know, I just like that better on me. Um, or my stretched ears. I'm very attached to both of those piercings. Libby asked, what are your favorite Christmas traditions and are you and Zach planning on starting any traditions? Uh, my favorite Christmas tradition that I can remember back to like when I was an infant. I feel like I have memories that far back, at least of this. Um, and it's of my parents and me driving around looking at Christmas lights just in town. I hear a lot of people say that their family had or still has this tradition. Um, so I've continued that into my adult life. I love to just drive around, you know, the community, look at Christmas lights. That's easily one of my most favorite traditions about Christmas. It's just so peaceful and it's, it's interesting to see how different families are creative with their decorations and their lights and everything on their house. Um, so sort of carrying on that tradition, um, close to where we live there is a Christmas in the park event where they just kind of light up the whole park with all kinds of different lights and um, displays and things like that. And so the past two years, Zach and I have done that this year and last Christmas we have driven through that. And you know, anytime we're driving around we'll just point out lights to each other. Um, so that whole driving around looking at Christmas lights is a tradition that I've always had and always loved and that we are continuing uh, with our little family now. Deanna asked, how is your new conch piercing doing? Um, it's doing great. She is talking about this piercing that I got over here for my birthday about three months ago now. Um, and it's doing fantastic. Actually, my next video is going to be about that piercing. So stay tuned for that. Keep an eye out for that. Uh, it'll be posted next Friday. And the last question I'm going to answer for this month is if you don't already have some, would you ever consider getting a scarification? I would consider it. I have considered it. I think scarification is amazing. I am totally in love with it and it's just so beautiful once it's a finished product. With that being said, I don't know that I will actually ever get a piece and the main reason for that is I just don't know what I would get or where I would put it. I see some people get it on their legs or their back or their arms, you know, things like that, but I really have all those places reserved for tattoos. The only places that I really would probably ever consider scarification would be my chest or my stomach. And after having watched Morgan Joyce go through her chest scarification trauma, I probably would not actually do that just because hers did not heal very evenly and that being such an obvious place, um, you know, it's hard to cover and she has videos about that. So you should go check those out if you're interested in what I'm talking about if you don't know already. So after having seen her go through that experience, I probably wouldn't actually get a scarification piece on my chest just because it's, you know, like I said, it's so obvious and if something goes wrong, it's hard to hide. Like you have to wear stuff like this all the time to hide it. Um, and I don't usually wear like super low cut stuff, but I still wouldn't want to have to feel pressured to wear something all the time if, you know, my piece didn't turn out quite like I wanted, like if it didn't heal um, evenly or, or, you know, like I expected it to or anything like that. So I might consider it maybe on my stomach. I want a stomach tattoo, but I'm just, I'm not sure about that either. Like I'm not sure what I'd want. I still want to lose some more weight and fatter in my stomach area before I would even consider getting a stomach tattoo. And I know that most people don't have a huge problem with stomach tattoos in pregnancy, but if I did ever get pregnant, I wouldn't just, I don't, I just, I don't know. You know, I'm not sure how that would work for me. So scarification would obviously work differently with all that kind of stuff. So maybe I might consider it on my stomach. That's really the only place I have left. Um, to get a scarification piece. I also think it's really cool across the tops of the feet, but I already have one foot tattooed, so that's obviously not gonna work out there unless I were to do scarification like over my tattoos, which I really don't have any interest in. So um, yeah, to answer your question, yes, I've considered it. 
Um, would I do it? Yes, but will I do it? I don't know if that makes any sense at all. Hopefully you know what I'm getting at. Okay, so that's all the questions I'm going to answer for this month. I don't really know the next time I'm going to do a QA. and a It seems like the past couple haven't gone over super well. Like, I guess I'm people have just ran out of questions. I've answered everyone's questions that they want to ask me. Except for these questions this month, everything else I got was like a total repeat question. So this video is a little shorter, I guess, than some Q&A answer videos have been. Um, so I don't know when you'll see a a Q&A video again just because it seems like you guys have kind of lost interest in them and I want to cater to what you guys want like yeah I want to make the videos that I want to make but also I want to make videos that you guys want to see um, so since it seems like you guys aren't super interested in the Q&A's anymore I'm probably gonna maybe put that on hold for a while I haven't done one in a few months anyway just for basically that reason it seemed like you guys have lost interest so who knows when you'll see another Q&A video um, but if you guys you know ever do want one just let me know you can tweet at me you can comment on Instagram, you can message me, email me, whatever you want. If that's something you definitely want brought back sooner than I'm thinking about bringing it back, then just uh, just give me a heads up. Be like, hey, I really would like a Q&A this month or something. Um, so yeah, maybe a few months, but I'm going to kind of focus on other styles of videos for a while. Like I said, stay tuned for next week's video all about my piercing. And I am going to do some more piercing focused videos coming up in the future. And this is a little off topic, but I'm sorry if this video seems a little like scattered or random. I know there's going to be a lot of cuts in this once I finally get to edit it. I'm having a lot of trouble focusing my thoughts and whatever's going on neurologically with me medically makes it really difficult for me to organize thoughts and organize speech and sometimes I just literally say the wrong word or like I'll combine a bunch of words and I just say like a mouthful of garbled crap <laughs> um, and sometimes it literally just doesn't make any sense. So I know I'm going to have to edit this video a lot and cut some shit out. Um, so I'm sorry if this seems really scattered and and heavily cut and whatnot. But I will have more updates on all that in the future. I know most videos I tend to mention my health just because we haven't like actually found a concrete answer yet. And I know this is not even the topic that like this video is supposed to be about, but I just thought I'd throw it in here at the end just to kind of update you guys on everything, how everything's going. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. I hope you're having a fantastic day and Christmas and whatever else you celebrate. If you celebrate Hanukkah or Kwanzaa or another holiday or you don't celebrate at all, that's cool. I hope you're having a fantastic December and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!